Watch your step, the banana has gotten loose. Google's Nano Banana 2 has leaked into the wild, and I, I mean, there's nothing more disgusting than the thought of a leaking banana. That said, today we're gonna take a look at what we learned in those leaked images, because there's some really fascinating stuff, uh, plus the fact that it might not actually be called Nano Banana. Plus, we've got our first look at Flux 2. Yeah, Black Forest Labs is readying the release. Uh, also, I did talk to them about that video model of theirs. Uh, spoilers, don't hold your breath. All that, plus some quick hits from Magnific, Leonardo, and Freepick. Okay, let's go plug that leaky banana. So Nano Banana 2, or Gempix 2, or possibly Ketchup, we'll talk about that in a little bit, is set to release um, soon. Some reports going around, this one spotted by Testing Catalog, a name we're actually gonna hear pretty often, uh, indicated Gemini 3 Pro Preview uh, with 11 2025. Now, whether that 11 indicates like a month or a day, that's unclear, but we do know that Gemini 3 is due for release sometime between mid-November and December. And additionally, we do know that Gemini 3 is indeed powering the image model. Furthering that Nano Banana 2's release is imminent, uh, for a hot minute, the model was accidentally released via an API platform called media.io. Now, I've never heard of this platform before, but a lot of the outputs very much seem to indicate that it was Nano Banana 2. Also, this does seem to happen pretty regularly with the big Google releases. Uh, they seem like a very leaky banana over there, if you will. Just as an FYI, that access has now been revoked. It, it only lasted for a few hours. So, I mean, you can check out the site, but just don't expect to see Nano Banana 2 there. That said, a number of folks were able to get some generations off. So, well, let's take a look and see how good the upgrade is. Kicking off, Banana 2 actually smashes a long running test in AI image generation, uh, that being the clock and wine test. Um, by asking for 1115 on the clock and a wine glass filled to the top, uh, well, I mean, we get just that. If you try that same prompt out in any other image generator, uh, this is over on WISC, so it would be Imagine 4, I guess. Um, yeah, we do not get a wine glass filled to the top. And indeed, uh, you know, we get the standard 1010 uh, smiley face clocks in the background. Even that same prompt run on Gemini, which would be Nano Banana 1, uh, you know, we end up with uh, a shot of a wine glass, I guess, uh, taken in the middle of an earthquake. Now, the big takeaway in terms of improvement is that Nano Banana 2 will have a new multi-stage generation process. And obviously the thing checking the banana's work is going to be Gemini 3. Basically it boils down to having a built-in image analysis to review its own work and well, correct errors before it ever shows you the final output. Uh, also, you paid a lot of money for that wine. Stop being cheap, AI, fill it up, come on now checking in with it as a straight image generator. And this was never, in my opinion, one of Nano Banana's strong points, but uh, Lisa provides us with, well, this is a Nano Banana 1 output. I do want to note that of uh, like a model on top of a convertible. Um, yeah, yeah, there's some issues here. Beyond the fact that our model is doing some like weird half plank on the windshield there, we also have, you know, a uh, steering wheel facing the wrong direction. Uh, I'm presuming that the rear window here is uh, also facing the wrong direction. Like I said, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to bag on it too hard. Now, Nano Banana 1 was never the best at straight image generation. Now, running that exact same prompt in Banana 2 yields us this as a result, which does look a lot better. Uh, we have correct numbering on the odometer down here. The steering wheel is pointed in the right direction and actually has this nice leather texture to it. And the rear view mirror up here in the corner is, again, faced the right direction and actually contains a mirrored image. So, um, yeah, I mean, all the details that I'm sure that instantly jumped out at you. Liza also provides us with this very fifth element inspired image. Uh, this one, again, Nano Banana. Nano 1 kind of has a very, you know, illustrate photorealistic illustrate look to it. Uh, running this in Nano Banana 2 yields a much more photographic output. Now, there are still some issues here. For one, I mean, I really think that she should be sitting inside the cockpit with a seatbelt on. Um, and two, uh, taxi up here. I mean, it does, it does feel like the orientation on that is wrong, but uh, also like it's, it's a future helicopter hover thing. So, I mean, who am I to say? Friend of the channel, Brent Lynch, showcases a really fascinating output that showcases the models, well, I guess world understanding, maybe like pop culture knowledge, utilizing this image of Robotech or Macross, depending, you know, I'm not gonna get into that whole thing. It's like a three hour documentary unto itself. And you know, taking this image and uh, saying, you know, convert it into live action, which results in this image, which, I mean, I, you know, it looks more or less fine. J 
J.J. Abrams lens flares down there, kind of like generic YA actors over here. But here's the really fascinating part, is that if we go back to the original image, we see this Valkyrie robot here, which in the grand tradition of everything anime in the 80s, does indeed transform into this plane, which means the model was able to recognize the robot, know it transforms into an airplane, and then provide the output of that plane. That said, the model doesn't seem to have any problem just doing straight stylistic re-renders. Uh, for example, uh, taking this image from Crash Bandicoot 1, I, I'm pretty sure that's one, the PS1 version, uh, and then you know giving it a prompt of enhance this to a high fidelity remastered version, we end up with this as the output, which I mean, well, looks PlayStation 5. Here's a Grand Theft Auto Vice City version of essentially the same concept because, well, we get everything before we get Grand Theft Auto 6. And this example really showcases the flex of having an extremely powerful LLM driving. This is, you know, taking essentially a panel from a manga and having it not only colorize it, but translate it as well. Liam showcases how Banana 2 not only handles text, but well, I mean, 3D space and I guess like sparkly, particle-y stuff. Um, there are some issues here with the shadow uh, is not really correctly orientated there, but uh, pretty minor in all honesty. Uh, you could just very easily prompt that out. Furthermore, we can just have it solve math problems. Uh, although, you know, to be honest, looking at this, I, I mean, I don't know if that's correct, but uh, I have to presume that it is. And finally, it does seem to do a really good job with the old like place text on the image and, and have it edit that. Um, yeah, everything here looks pretty great. I'm always a stickler for like uh, guitar, you know, fingering and chords and whatnot. And yeah, this actually looks pretty accurate. And one, two, three, four, five, five fingers and five fingers. It's a more banana news. It might not actually be called Nano Banana. Again, some code sleuthing here uncovered that internally, at least, uh, it might be being referred to as ketchup. That said, that's likely just a placeholder, although it's gonna make me super mad if they go with something like Nano Tomato, considering that like I've prepped like about 40 banana puns. Now, as for when Nano Banana 2 will be releasing, I'm gonna keep calling it Nano Banana 2. You pry that banana from my cold dead hands. Uh, it does look like as of November 11th at 6.20 a.m., there is a dark launch that is at least staging right now which might indicate either a beta test or it's going out to the various arenas for ELO scores. That said, in the meantime, just be very wary of any platforms that you've never heard of that are suddenly advertising having Nano Banana to access. When in doubt, just refer to this reply from DeepMind's Logan Kilpatrick. Um, you know, pretty much says it all right there. Obviously, I will be keeping a close eye on Nano Banana 2, and I'll let you know as soon as it releases. Uh, let's see if we beat the record of five videos in a row uh, like we did with Nano Banana 1. God, I hope not. Moving on, Black Forest Labs is preparing to launch Flux 2. Not a lot of information on this yet, but it is expected to be available both on the playground and in the API. We can see in an image, once again captured by testing catalog, that uh, Flux.2 Pro at least generates uh, at a resolution of 1216 by 832. I'm not sure if these images are uh, Flux 2 or not, um, but I mean, well, they all, they all look pretty good. But this image from Black Forest, Robin Rombach, uh, does, I guess, showcase the first official, non-official, I'm not sure, uh, look at Flux 2. Overall, I mean, not a lot to go on here, but yeah, I mean, it's a good looking image. Uh, nice reflection on the beak there. Feather textures look very nice. Uh, the ridiculousness of a uh, pelican seabird of some kind wearing uh, VR goggles. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely we'll be keeping an eye out for this. And just as a quick side note, something that I forgot to mention, when I was over at Adobe Max, I did actually end up talking to uh, some of the Black Forest guys. And I was like, hey man, what's, what's up with that video model? And they kind of laughed and said, oh, is that page still up on the website? So, I mean, that pretty much gave me all the answer I needed to know. Interestingly, they did revamp the website. And as far as I can tell, that, that video page is no longer there. So yeah, that, that might've been me that got it knocked offline. Um, so, but overall, if you're waiting for the Black Forest Labs video model, um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't hold your breath too long. Rounding out with some quick hits, uh, Magnific have released Mystic version three, which is an update to their image model. Uh, I've always really liked Mystic. I'm gonna dig into this a little later on for another video, but overall, I do think it's looking pretty good. Um, it's not available over on Freepik yet. I think it's only available currently at Magnific. But again, I'll dive into this one for a more in-depth review. Um, but yeah, overall first impressions, it's looking pretty good. I mean, skin tones look really great here. Um, yeah, 
Anyhow, speaking of free pick, they've got a new camera angles feature, which I think actually takes a pretty interesting look. Now it is the murder board, and I know that not everyone loves that. Um, and obviously this video is pretty cutty, but you can see that it takes the subject of an image and kind of creates it into like this 3D box that you then have sliders uh, to control essentially the orientation of it. Uh, and then from there, you can obviously generate out images in, you know, multiple different angles of that character. And then, you know, presumably use them for something like first frame, last frame uh, to get a result like this. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty neat idea. Again, I know not everyone loves node-based murder boards, but I, I mean, to some degree, I think that we've all got to come to peace with it because this does seem to be the hot direction that a lot of things are trending in, at least for now. Um, I'm sure something else will come along soon enough. Rounding out, for those of you who do hate the murder boards, well, Leonardo's got you covered with a new feature called Blueprints. Uh, these are essentially like repeatable actions or workflows uh, that you know you can use on any image or create video with. Uh, you can even create your own blueprints. I know I am overdue for a Leonardo check-in, so this is gonna be just kind of a super fast one, but yeah, essentially blueprints, you know, there are a number of different, um, you know, blueprints templates that are available to you here. Uh, anything from like product video down here, instant animate, um, there's like, instant uh, in and out painting as well. Yeah, so bulk resize over here. Uh, just giving it a shot here. Let's take, uh, well, let's take channel fan favorite, flamethrower girl, and just drop her into the blueprint for cool sunrise relight. So uh, popping her in there and then um, just hitting generate. We now have flamethrower girl at dusk. Um, yeah, colors look pretty good here. Um, on an out paint, we ended up with this image, which is now like ultra widescreen flamethrower girl. Again, there's a bunch of blueprints here, uh, including like some handy stuff that uh, like brand mock-up here, popping your logo onto an object uh, or even like text removal that I think a lot of you will like find pretty handy. So if you haven't checked out Leonardo in a while, um, yeah, swing over, check out uh, blueprints. Uh, and again, I'll definitely swing back at some point or another for a Leonardo deep dive. So I guess that's it for today. I've got to hurry through and edit this video and upload it before, well, you know, Nano Banana 2 releases because that is my luck. Uh, in the meantime, as always, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.